Welcome back for more reptiles, archery, engineering. Ladies and gents, have fun and please enjoy. Hey ladies and gents, this is Scorpion here and right now it's two minutes past eight, well three minutes past eight now. Uh, so today is a cloudy day. Yeah, well, uh, I gotta weld up the bore today of my motor, so my motor will be running. I left my glasses on. I'll put you guys right here. Just on. I'll be right back. Got my glasses. Can't see. I no, can't see without them. So today we are gonna weld up the ball if it doesn't rain. When it's cloudy, it's gonna rain. I need to weld up the ball so I can put the pistons back in. Um, that's gonna be a problem. If it's gonna rain, it's gonna be a problem with the welding. So, yeah, it's going to be one of the things you don't want is spat a spattering of the world. So, yeah, oh, that's better. I can actually see properly. <laughs> so, right now, yeah, it's just saying my right eye. My right eye is really blind. They're, like, really blurry. They're without the glasses. The only thing I see is just really blur kind of white. My my left eye is okay. But it's my right eye, my right eye doesn't see that well. Yeah, it's a pretty cloudy day. Jesus. I was looking forward to weld up my engine today. And weld up that crack in the bore. But if it's raining, if it's going to rain today, no, nope. not good at all. Hopefully it doesn't rain and it's just cloudy so I can weld up that ball and then get these new pistons in and done. So, pretty good. So, Right now, I'm watching Tori and Ryan, uh, Tony and Ryan's talk show, Try Not To Laugh. And literally, they can't help it. They piss themselves laughing anyway. Uh, oh well. Let's see how my boy's going because it was cold last night, so Chevy's moving around. And being active. I left the heat mat on last night, so let's check up on them. Hey, my big boys. Hello. How you doing? My little boy Stumpy. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, big boy. <laughs> okay, I bought that pack. So you can have some sleep time. About five more days and then it's their feeding time again. I'm going on a schedule where like wherever they are hungry, they'll let me know like going along the front glass, rubbing their snotty nose on the glass anyway. That's how I know they are hungry. They are looking for food. But for a couple days, they haven't done that because it's their sleep time. So yesterday, um, when I was trying to try out my new camera, the um, this waterproof case, I thought it was a normal case, like 
you can actually hear the sound or not this blocks the sound and literally yeah <laughs> not good so I took it out no, I tried it on the other stand for the this camera. It works. But the thing is I need to be careful because I know my bow is noisy but yeah. Now I found the right stand for it and if it stays up I'll definitely do some footage on soon. But yeah. This is the waterproof one. If you go under water, it doesn't get water inside the camera, so pretty neat, huh? <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, plus it does live videos, like if you hook it up to YouTube, you can actually um, do live videos of the sports events, what you do, so that's pretty cool that is awesome so yeah so right now the bag I'm using for both cameras is my old um, old photograph camera that doesn't work anymore so I'm using the bag for it and from it to put the GoPro and the camera I'm using right now inside the bag, in the bag anyway it's more handy than the single bag that you only put one camera in this one puts two that's absolutely spot on so yeah the remote for the GoPro there it is you can take photographs that's the top button or video on the bottom button that's that's cool that's awesome to me but I don't know what's this weather's gonna be like because right now I don't trust it because I really want to weld this ball up so I can put the pistons back in um, it does not seem right so right now I gotta drink my coffee. I already had my breakfast earlier about six o'clock, so yeah. So yeah, that's the instructions. Here we go. You got the Wi-Fi. You can hook it up to the internet and do the live videos. Um twelve amps, two point zero F D H F H D. So it's really cool. Yeah, it came on Monday. Now, the email said it will arrive on Tuesday. Nope. When I seen that delivery woman come to the front door, I knew that was my camera. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> so, yeah, but right now, I gotta give my little GoPro a charge because, yeah. But hopefully this other stand works, it will catch the um, sound and the action, so yeah. I actually hit the balloon with a single shot yesterday after I tested for the fourth time, the camera for the fourth time. It actually caught the shot, but the sound, the box actually blocks the sound from the camera, so waterproof can't hear any sound in it but it's pretty neat so if I go underwater I can use this but yeah nah <laughs> but right now I don't trust the weather it's just not right at all If it's gonna rain, I can't weld up the board today. But that actually sucks. You know, wherever I'm trying to fix my engine, it rains. Literally. 
but it's not raining so it's just only cloudy so if I got time my dad weld and welds up the bore and it'll be right for the piston to go in that is not a problem at all so right now I gotta watch Tony and Ryan's talk show it's about one year ago that they put this video on um, I'm gonna watch it and I'll see you guys later on if I'm done if my dad's done with the welding and put the pistons in I can take a picture of a bit at a time you know, what's happening and when the engine's finished done so this is episode 7 of fixing the Subaru so hopefully it doesn't rain then my dad can weld the bore up but it's rain if it's gone to rain no welding because the spider from the weld will go in your eyes or burn your skin that's what I don't want so yeah not pretty so right now I'll see you guys later till then if it's raining no welding but if it's not raining you know, weld up the ball and put this engine back together again that's what I'm looking forward to so I'll see you guys later okay back on the line All right. Uh, I got a difficult position for the en engine um, I had to put the con rods in before the pistons oh great <laughs> this is going to be fun oh fuck I'm not going after you guys just calm down you bitch oh fuck you two ah I really hate these guys. Come on. <laughs> oh, really? Get out of here. He dropped about a thousand feet. Oh shit. <laughs> Just pick him up.
Come here, pussy! Ah. <coughs> <laughs> oh, down was an uppercut. <laughs> oh well, yeah, let's call it a samurai sword. <laughs> I might put some attachments on this. Uh, two lightning bolts? Wait, oh shit, okay. Got it. Uh, lightning bolt. <laughs> And lightning bolt. Oh, that would be so painful. This one's got flame. This one's got lightning bolt. Oh, that would be a shocking experience. <laughs> I feel sorry about this guy, but he's lost a slice of head in half. <laughs> that was his idea to try and kill me. Alright, there's those one of those banshees um motherfucking things. Oh wait, there's no power, okay. I just hit the power box and there's no like Anyone in here? Uh, dramatic fall backwards. <laughs> okay. What's time anyway? Nine o'clock, okay. Nine o'clock in the morning for me. Shit. Oh, those guys are not gonna come back. I'll pull them off the house. <laughs> oh, that was a clean cut. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move, move, move. Up, 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 up. Why? It sounds like a guy doing shit. <laughs> okay, I'm in the cage. Collect all the items. What is it? The box? Okay. And a floating brick. Great, I'm grabbed the brick. <laughs> this is what I wanted. It is a floating freaking brick. Okay. <laughs> what is him? Okay. What the? That's weird that why it's spazzing. You know, there's any bodies I can collect. No. Nope. The flowers, um, honey, and residue, resin, whatever it's called. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What we got? What we got? What we got? Turn the torch off. Don't let me die here, please. Um. <laughs> I hit my bottle. <laughs> I was trying to throw a Molotov at the zombies and someone just shot my bottle. Great. 
That's not good. Who the hell done that? Far out. And I respond to my um, sleep. Oh, great. So, yeah, this is going to be absolutely difficult. Wait. There's one up there. <laughs> I have to go up there. What the hell is that? Retreat. Retrieve the. What the hell is that? Damn. Almost had it. Fuck. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> I nearly got my axe in and I put the zombies far out. I know you got it. Wait, what kind of mission is this anyway? What kind of mission? Diva, retrieve letters. Mink stolen. Soul. Are you serious? I have to. <coughs> oh, and it's gone again. I freaking got, I lost the... Now where the hell is it? Oh, are you fucking serious? Don't move. Don't... No, I am not going up there. Got it! Oh, thank God. I'm more like squirrel than mink. Now well, I better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola. Lola? Wait. Oh, the singer. Yeah, I remember that one. Okay. Lola the singer. The wind, a gust of wind stole her from her neck and never brought her back. She, he got stung by her behind his neck. <laughs> The big gave him a hickey. <laughs> okay. So this is Lola's mission, so right now. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Here we go. Can you hear Oh, here you go. My precious mink! Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? Uh, maybe next time? Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? I slept! Yo. Oh, my ears. <laughs> I am. That was... Otherworldly. And <laughs> Being honest, that was a, not a bad mission, but that mission was hard. Try and get the scarf in one hit. What is up here? What do you mean? This thing behind you? Let me get in there. Is that a strip club? <laughs> oh, come on. On PC, you can go in there very easily. Oh well, time to sell old weapons. Not the Viking axe, that's... That's a good weapon right there, so... 
All right. Uh, what I need to sell. That doesn't do shit, so... I got about... How many? 106 purple. So... Oh. Um... Don't want to sell the gold. I want to sell the blue and green. None of these is good. When the numbers are green, they are good ones, but they aren't playing white, so they are weak. So... This one's red, not good. Alright, need purple and... need purple only so blue can go got the good one right there so that one can go all right make pants we got no medic at all but we got one gold okay Four gold boots, two purple. Keep the gold and purple, sell the blue and green. Alright. Alright, yo, what we got? Uh, cornerstone, uh, a foundation of any sturdy building. It's only a brick. <laughs> okay. So right now, he's got some good weapons. He's got a Viking twin axe, but it's red. Red, red. All them's red, so. Ooh. Gold knuckles. Hey, knuckle busters? Yeah, I don't mind. I love punching zombies with my own knuckles, uh, that's all. <laughs> Where's Diva? True friends? Key to humanity. What the hell is this anyway? I got stuck by between two people. Huh. Wait. How the hell I know the mission? Lola and her mate stole together again. Thanks to you. Lola and her mate stole together again. Thanks to you. And so the curtain falls on Lola. The audience is doing what they used to Look be. for the boys. Lola will make it come back. Wait. Wait. Look for the boys. Wait, there's one? There's one? Look for the boys. In the neck? Nope. Alright, it's in the bazaar, okay.
Alright, I need to look for the boys, so... In Bazaar, okay. I need to look. Now, the little boy with the dog was right here, I remember. Where the hell is he now? Near the church walls. The hell? Going? That depends. What do you want? You've got to see the... Look for the boys. Alright. Near the church walls. That's not a book. Ah, oh, there's one. Hey, I'm, I'm looking for two kids. Scott and Mo. Mo? He's my new best friend, you know. After Buddy, of course. You see him right. today? Today? No. But he and Scott started coming to play with me and Buddy a lot lately. Buddy didn't trust him at first, but now all four of us have a great time together. Oh, you know Buddy? Buddy's my dog. Yep, you told me. Listen, any idea where Mo and Scott might have gone? No clue. I haven't seen anyone today. Not even Buddy. Have you seen Buddy? Been looking for holes in the ground, because dogs like to dig them. Figured if I found a hole, Buddy okay. would be far away. Oh, and you know how dogs have a great sense of smell? They can track people, find bones. It's true they can smell fear, too. No, haven't seen them. But I'll keep an eye out. I gotta go now. I'm pretty busy at the moment. Wait! I just got an idea! The bizarre Gate, of course! Sorry, kid. I don't have time for Buddy right now. I'm in a rush. Digging for human bones is pretty creepy to me. But Scott and Mo think it's hilarious. Wait, so Scott and Mo may not have come out here after all? Anywhere else you know that they hang out? If you want them that bad, I guess you could check along the King William the Ninth Road. Scott showed us how to hunt Martins around there. All right. Thanks for the tip. And don't worry. As soon as I find them, Buddy's next. Thanks, mister. I hope so. If you do, maybe Buddy will be your friend too. Alright, true friends, I need to look for those two kids, okay. Um I didn't know if Well, my mother is a little bit difficult to be rebuilt. Yeah, I have to put the, um, yeah, it's a little bit difficulty, but I'll manage, oh shit. Why do the friggin' zombies always follow me wherever I go? Yeah, Scott and Mo. okay. Mother sent me. Where's your brother? He's not me. 
we played and the dog ran off and... Mo! Come on. Which floor is Mo on? Uh, second floor or you know, third or maybe fourth? I don't know. Please, help my brother, mister. Go back to the bazaar. I'll find him. I promise. Watch out for the infected, mister. All right. <sighs> All right, time to dive. Oh, oh, oh fucking fall tolls. <laughs> Okay, that was not friggin' funny at all. <laughs> exterminate. Why exterminate? Oh, shit. Okay, I need to go out at night time. Oh, far out. Um. <laughs> friggin'. Holy shit. Um. He didn't even tell me there was volatiles in that friggin' building. Okay, I need to look for them, uh, look for him at night. Try the top floor. Really? You gotta piss me off, boy. <laughs> Good save. <laughs> this floor. I'm not going to pick up the challenge, I'm going to get straight in. Oh, this is going to be terrifying. There's fucking volatiles on this floor. Oh. Shit. You can actually see them. Is there about one, two, three, four, five? It can't be when this kid is dead. I don't know. But I'd go down. Huh. 
That is a little volatiles. Um, can I do this at night time where it's more safer? Because there's about five volatiles, one red, four yellow. <laughs> Alright, I need to find a sleep spot right here. As right across there, about sixty five meters. All right, sixty five. Next to the um, place, go out at night time. What the fuck is this sleep spot? Don't tell me. Oh my freaking god, this thing glitched again, didn't it? Oh, fuck. Okay, not surprising, but yeah, there's still a lot of bugs what the creators need to fix up, because right now I can't find my bed. I already completed this tower. It's completed, but the thing is, where's my bed? Supposed to be right here. 
now it's gone. Oh well, after wait till night time. <laughs> I have to wait till night time so I can actually go there and find out it's 6.42 at night on dial line number 2 but the thing is there's a whole lot of volatiles where I am and I don't like the feeling so what I need to do is look for the, look for the kid he's in there to hear the roar on that. That is terrifying. Oh, I really don't look forward to going there, but I need to go in there. There's about four volatiles and one viral. Oh my freaking god, I think this is going to be a mission what I need to do by myself, so right now, I'll see you guys later, till then, I need to do this off camera, so I'll see you guys later. Alright, got an update about my Subaru, um, the engine's easy to put back together again, but a whole day, so the end of the day, the engine will be back in the car and tomorrow I had to buy the engine oil now, I already got cool in there to put in the radiator but yeah oh that's freaking good news get the engine done put it back in the car and whew, the car will be back on the road soon so whew, that is good I haven't took the pictures of it yet, um, still figuring out how to put the pistons in, and yeah, that's the tricky bit. Not that easy, but yeah, but soon my car will be back on the road before the 28th of this month. Oh can't wait to drive my car again. It's been a long time I haven't drove it. Oh, I can't drive it. I need to get that head shaved and repaired and get the sleeves for it. Uh, <laughs> shit, I have to get the head fixed. Let's see what the um, repair guys around here want to repair it. If not, I have to get a new one. That's the difficult part. Oh, uh, why it always gives me the sick in the stomach? Hmm. Okay. If I put the engine back in the car, well, if I put it back together again, except the head needs to be repaired, so. I have to talk to my dad about that. Um, the head of the motor needs to be repaired first before putting it back into the car. Uh, yeah, I need to repair that head before putting it back in the car. I need to repair that part, bolt it all back on, and then it's done. So. With that hassle, this car will be running soon. Before the 28th of this month. So. Shit. So right now, um, let's check on the boys. I need to turn on the lights. It's a little bit dark today. Yeah, the clouds are still hanging around, but... Half sunshine, half cloud, so 50-50. Hmm, the Chevy. My oldest boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, big boy. 
What are you doing? Come on. Go on there. Good boy. Come on. Go off, big boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Am I the youngest stump, the stumpy? He wants to stay on the warm. That's why he's feet is like that, he's lying on the heat mat, staying warm, it's a little bit chill. Oh well, I need to go, so I'll see you guys next time. Well, there is a problem ladies and gents, I got no gas wire and gas to run the welder. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Back. So my car will be sitting in the driveway for another couple of weeks. So uh, this is a bloody miserable day. So right now, um, let's check on my boys. Let's take it late anyway. It's about three thirty right now in the afternoon. Hi, big boy. I know. What are you so curious about? Hmm. He's curious, he's on his front legs up. Hey, big boy. Hey, baby boy. Hello. Oh, Stumpy. I love you, baby boy. I love you. Always getting rubs on the chin, hey? I love you, boys. <laughs> So right now, let's turn them off. It's they get cold and dark anyway. Hey, hey, get it. Literally, it's getting darker fast. And it's on the end of the day where school is ending. So, the clouds are really dark and it's covering up the sun. So right now, let's turn off these two beautiful boys heat lamp. Let them go to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys loved it. So if you guys got any comments at all. Please leave it down below. And yeah. My car will be up and running soon. But first things first. Try and find. Um, gas and. Uh, gas and welding wire for. My motor. So I can weld up that crack. And actually put the pistons in but right now that's the difficult bit uh, but right now I'm just I'm just playing dollar line number two I'm trying to cheer myself up uh, bugger friggin bugger and every time one of those days <laughs> not funny at all so right now I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow till then on s uh, tomorrow or Friday I don't know what I'm gonna do I really don't know oh far out so right now, I'm, I'm completely clueless what I'm going to do right now. Because if I don't have gas, I don't have the welding to heal up that crack in the mirror. It's not like cast iron or stuff to weld. just yeah yeah it's a school pickup time so far out <sighs> but tomorrow hopefully it's not that bad I might well I gotta pay the pay and I gotta pay the rent tomorrow or Friday 
And I gotta help my mum and dad with that. Not doing anything that much. So right now, I'll see you guys next time. Till then, um, yeah, that's the sad bit. <laughs> Can't fix the crack because I don't have the well of running with gas. And I got the gasless wire, but I need the gas wire and the gas to weld up that crack in the motor, so it'll be fine. But that will be after I help my family with work and stuff, so it'll be good. So I'll see you guys next time, till then. Peace for now. And hopefully we find something tomorrow to do. Set sitting on the game all the time, so I need to find something to do. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, peace for now. Get over here. Ha 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 ha.